Hello and welcome. My name is Jen from SmartyPantsFinance.com and thank you for joining this Monday live mystery shopping training. Either uh, you're here now watching live or if you are watching on the replay later. Um, I have been mystery shopping since 2004 and I've made thousands of dollars over the years mystery shopping. I've literally traveled the world as a mystery shopper. I have um, gotten lots of free things and so I've been coming on here every Monday to teach people how to mystery shop. Um, I have seven videos that we've already done. So weeks one through seven are on the Facebook page. So if you um, want to get caught up, you can watch all of the videos. Each one's a different topic. And then uh, they're all also on YouTube. So you could go to YouTube and um, put in the search Smarty Pants Finance and you could watch all the videos in one place. So what we're going to do today is talk about avoiding scams because sadly, mystery shopping seems to attract scammers just like other, there are lots of places that scammers, you know, try to infiltrate like banking, online dating, uh, Craigslist, help wanted ads, you know, it seems to be a magnet for scammers. But mystery shopping seems to be targeted a little bit more than, um, you know, than other industries. But I just want to make sure that people know the truth about mystery shopping because it is a completely legitimate industry. You can make thousands of dollars doing real legitimate work. It's not a scheme. You're not getting caught up in something that's, uh, you know, not uh, real and you're going to get trapped and, you know, end up losing money. It's a real thing. But scammers come in and they, you know, trick people and people lose thousands of dollars to mystery shopping scams. So we want to make sure that you know the truth. And so if you come across a scam, you know how to avoid it. And if uh, you know you have friends, you can help friends out who are interested in mystery shopping, but have been afraid. I, I think people hesitate to get into mystery shopping because they think that it's all a scam and it's really not. I mean, I can tell you for since 2004, I have consistently made money mystery shopping. I've never been part of a scam in mystery shopping. I've never lost money doing it. And so I want to teach you how to avoid getting involved in anything that's going to be a uh, trouble. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to do is really understand mystery shopping. And I think, you know, like when you see a counterfeit, you'll know that something's off because you actually know how mystery shopping itself works. So I would recommend going through all the videos that I've already done. It'll teach you the ins and outs of mystery shopping. But then, you know, as you get to be a mystery shopper, you'll see what schedulers emails look like. You'll know what real jobs look like. You will um, see what, you know, what you get paid to mystery shop. You'll kind of get an idea of what it is and what real mystery shopping looks like. So that way, when you see a scam, it kind of stands out. It's like a sore thumb. You know, you're like, wait a minute, that doesn't match. Um, it's kind of like a couple months ago, I've been on this ice cream kick during uh, coronavirus. And so one day I bought ice cream, I brought it home, I scooped it, you know, to, to eat some. And then as soon as I tasted it, I knew I was like, oh my gosh, some this is not real ice cream. And sure enough, I looked at the package and it was like 50% less fat and uh, made with Splenda, which is not a bad thing except it's not really what I wanted. And it's the same thing with mystery shopping. If you do real mystery shopping, if you sign up with real mystery shopping companies, I have a list that I'm providing for people. If you do legitimate shopping, then when a scam comes, your first line of defense is you're like, wait a minute, this does not look like real mystery shopping. And you can protect yourself by listening to that inner voice that says, uh, -uh be careful, watch out. And then you won't, you know, follow someone into a scam. Um, the next line of defense you have is to mystery shop within a community. So, uh, you know, have a mystery shopping buddy, like someone, maybe you and me and my sister do mystery shopping in different states, but we talk about it all the time. I have a friend, we do mystery shopping. And so if you are part of a community, you can say, hey, did you see that email? Or did you, what do you think about this company? You can get feedback from each other. And then if there is a scam that's kind of making its way through, you can caution each other. You can ask people, hey, is this a legitimate mystery shopping company. And a lot of times the mystery shopping companies are legitimate, but there could be one that pops up that's looking for people, you know, to send money to them. And you want to be in a community so you can bounce ideas off each other and ask people. Um, there are Facebook groups uh, run by several people that are a great mystery shopping community. Some of them have thousands of members. And I've even seen people recently go in there and say, hey, I got this email. It looks like a mystery shopping scam. What do you guys think? And all of the members 
members immediately say, yes, that's a scam. Don't do it. You know, and so you can get a lot of help just by mystery shopping within a community and talking to other people about what you see. It's also a good way to warn people. Like you can say, hey, I got this email or I saw this thing on Craigslist and I know it's not legitimate, making sure people have a heads up. So being in a community is great. The um, IMSC, which is the Independent Mystery Shoppers Coalition, and the Mystery Shoppers Professionals Corner, they have uh, their groups on Facebook that you can join, and they have a great community, people who have mystery shopped a long time like I have, or people who are new, and it's a great way to safeguard yourself from falling into a scam. Um, and Okay, so another thing, so we're going to talk about what the scams look like. So first of all, as a mystery shopper, you never, ever, ever pay to be a shopper. You do not have to pay money to sign up with companies. I, I have a list of all my favorite mystery shopping companies, plus I have an extensive list of hundreds of mystery shopping companies. None of them ask you to pay them to be a shopper. You register with them and then you start getting work and you get paid. You don't pay them, you get paid. Um, you also don't get money up front from a legitimate job. So. Even if you have to spend money, like go to a restaurant and maybe the budget is $50, you can spend up to $50. You don't get the $50 first and then go spend it. You're always reimbursed after for what you spend. So for instance, um, four or five years ago, I did a, a casino resort, um, a hotel assignment, and part of the job was to gamble, uh, and I was supposed to gamble $200. I used my own $200. I played the games. Shockingly, I won <laughs> at some of them at poker. I couldn't believe it because I had no idea how to play poker before going there. Um, and it was my money that I put up front and then I was reimbursed after. That's just how mystery shopping works. So do not pay to sign up with a company and register. Do not pay to get access to a list. Um, and do not accept or expect that you're going to get money in the mail in order to mystery shop. That's just not how it works. So those are huge red flags if you see that. Um, uh, okay, so the next thing is that um, scammers tend to send you unsolicited emails or text messages. So as a shopper, I get emails all day long. Like schedulers are emailing me about jobs that they're putting on the job boards, opportunities, they're looking for someone to do an assignment. That's normal. And they're with companies that I've already registered for. So expect emails if you've registered with a mystery shopping company. But if you start getting emails from people you haven't registered with, businesses you've never heard of, heard from before, or you start getting text messages about mystery shopping, you should definitely take that as a red flag. Now, it could be legitimate. It could be a company that you know you forgot you signed up with. But a lot of times, if you're getting something that's unsolicited and it's coming out of nowhere, you definitely want to pay attention. Um, you want to look at the content of the email. So if the email is promising something that is too good to be true, like if it says, you know, we're going to pay you $300 to go to Walmart and buy some gift cards. Well, that is unreasonable. No one's going to pay you $300 for a quick little job at Walmart. So that goes back to if you know what real mystery shopping looks like, then it's easier to tell what the scams are. Um, when you get unsolicited emails or text messages, always look at who the sender is. So real mystery shopping company schedulers usually have a business email address. So it could be like mary at bestmark.com or john at bestmark.com. If it's something like mary scheduler123 at gmail.com, that is a huge red flag also because it's, that's just a made up email, um, yeah, email address. Um, I'm not saying that schedulers don't ever use a Gmail account, but that is definitely something to, that would catch your eye. Um, mystery shopper uh, scheduler emails are professional. There are no typos. They are, um, a lot of them look very similar. They use a similar format when they're crafting them. Um, scammer emails tend to have broken English, um, maybe phrasing that doesn't make sense, like as if it was written uh, by someone who doesn't speak English as a first language. Um, some of, you know, could be kind of awkward the way it's written. All of those things should stand out to you as potential scams. Um, the scheduler's emails I get are professional from beginning to end. There's nothing that makes me wonder if it's from a real scheduler. And so if you see something that looks a kind of off, again, listen to that intuition, maybe ask someone in the community and say, hey, what do you think about this? And if it's a scam, you know, you want to avoid it like the plague for sure. Um, same thing if you end up on a company's website that you think is a mystery shopping company, 
but maybe something just looks a little funny about it. Like it just doesn't look quite right. Look at the web address at the top. If the web address at the top is something that doesn't look like a traditional mystery shopping company's website, again, you might have accidentally gotten onto a scammer's website. A lot of times they try to make their websites look like traditional mystery shopping companies' websites. So that's part of how they trick people. It doesn't say, hey, we're scammers. It looks like, hey, we're a mystery shopping company and we want to get you to do work for us. But there is no work. All they're trying to do is steal money from you. So look at the web address. Make sure you're on a legitimate company's website. Again, the list I provide on my website, and I'll link it here in the... Um, in the comments is a completely legitimate list. Companies I've worked for for years, some of them more than 10 years, and you'll see once you follow the link, it takes you directly to their company's website and nowhere else. Um, also, okay, so what they do when they, e when they email you or they text you is then they start to get information from you. So they'll say something like, hey, we need a mystery shopper at Kroger or we need a mystery shopper at Walmart. Now that should be a red flag in and of itself because mystery shoppers are typically not hired to work for one place. Like you're not hired to be a Starbucks shopper or you're not hired to be a, um, a Walmart shopper. You're hired for the mystery shopping company to do whatever jobs that they have. And it's not always just one client. So that's a red flag. Um, but they say, hey, we're looking for a Walmart shopper. Respond with your name and your address, your physical mailing address. Uh, maybe tell us your age, phone number. If you get that far and you respond, what they're going to do typically is send you a check, like an actual physical check in the mail. And the tricky part is that they'll include instructions for your mystery shop. Now, your mystery shop is really non-existent. You are not mystery shopping, but they put that with the check to make people think that they're on an assignment. But if we go back to what I said a few minutes ago, you are never given money up front, ever. You're paid after you do the work. Just like with most jobs, you know, you do the work, then you get paid. I used to teach piano lessons. I did the lesson, then I got paid, sometimes not until the end of the month, if I did a whole month of lessons. So um, you get the check in the mail. They tell you, okay, you're going to go deposit or cash this check. And then they, what they want you to do is go buy gift cards or go to Western Union and wire the money and then they give you guidelines and a checklist, just like in real mystery shopping. And it says, you know, things like, what time did you enter the store? Was the store clean? What was the name of the cashier? How many um, check stands were open? Um, you know, how long did it take for your transaction to be processed? They make it look like you're actually doing a report, but it's completely bogus. So what happens is you put the check, you deposit the check in your bank account. You then take you take yourself to the Western Union or Walmart or wherever it is, and they say that they want you to spend money. So like, for instance, let's say it's a $3,000 check. And I actually, I teach mystery shopping classes. And one of uh, my students at a class at Pasadena City College a few years ago, she came to the class and she said before, like the year before, she had been swindled out of like $3,000 from one of these scams. And she was an older woman, so it was obviously some of her retirement money. And she came to the class because she still wanted to learn how to legitimately mystery shop. But it's such a shame that that had to happen. So what they do is they tell you deposit the check. And it could be like a $3,000 check. And then they say, okay, you get to keep $300 for your report. And then what we want you to do with the other $2,700 is go to Walmart or someplace similar and buy a bunch of gift cards or go to Western Union and wire the $2,700 back to us. Or with the gift cards, you're going to buy the gift cards, fill out the report at home, and then scrape off the back of the gift cards and send us images of all these gift cards that you bought. And then you get to keep the $300 that's left over. That is, there are so many red flags that should be going off during all of this process. And so you do that, you go through the whole process, you send them the gift cards, you wire the money. In the meantime, your bank thinks that the check that you deposited was legitimate because unfortunately, when you deposit a check, there's not an immediate alert that there's, it's a, it's a bouncing check. It doesn't sometimes take, and it could be days. And then the bank, days later, after you think you've done your report and done everything right, the bank says, hey, wait a minute, that $3,000 check just bounced. And now you have just spent your money in the bank. So they take the 3000 out of your account that you thought was there. The money that you wired or the money that you spent on gift cards has now been spent and you are out 
uh, you're out. I saw a video just the other day of a teacher who did this, did one of these jobs, and her bank account was now negative because she didn't even have the money to cover the initial deposit. So such such a scam, you know, and they make it look like a legitimate job like that could be like a mystery shopping job except for the check part except for depositing money except for um you know scratching off the backs of gift cards all of that is like total red flag um so yes so you do not want to get even close to doing that there are so many legitimate mystery shopping jobs that you don't have to fool around with the ones that are sketchy you know you don't even have to get get that far in the process to have that kind of thing happen. Um, another thing that they do is there are, you know, hundreds of legitimate mystery shopping companies. So sometimes these scammers steal the name of a legitimate company and they set up a, a website that looks like a legitimate mystery shopping company's website, except they're just using the same name. So then say someone like me is, is so this happened to um, a mystery shopping company named uh, called DSG Associates. So they have a real website. I've done real assignments for them in the past. Um, I get real emails from them. Someone, a scammer, set up a, a, a website that said DSG Associates. So someone who didn't know better might think that they're on their real website and might get a check in the mail and think, oh, DSG, that's a legitimate company. But if you, you know, you have to pay attention to all the red flags. That's why you have to look at the web address at the top because these people are really clever. They get away with it. I mean, they, they steal thousands and thousands of dollars from people all the time just doing this easy little mystery shopping scam. And sadly, it turns people off to mystery shopping altogether. They don't want to try it. Um, but let me tell you, I, you know, I've been doing this for 16 years and I have never been involved in a scam. I know you can safely shop for decades, you know, you don't have to be scammed, but you do have to keep your eyes open and make sure that you are paying attention to all the red flags and the signs and being careful with, um, with how you go about it. Um, and okay, so another thing, if you, uh, you will see sometimes on Craigslist or on other, um, you know, online web forums where people are looking for, for side jobs or work from home jobs, you might see advertisements like, hey, make $2,000 a week mystery shopping. That should be a red flag too. There are so many good resources, my website, um, other people's websites who do mystery shopping training. You know, you do not have to go to Craigslist to find jobs. You know, you can easily find it through good resources where you're going to be kept safe the whole way. Um, if you do find a, a a scam definitely warn people like you can contact the uh, federal trade commission they will they have a special site where you can go online and report a scam um you can if you're part of a facebook community where you you know talk with other mystery shoppers let them know um you know just because i think it's good to get the word out about the bad parts of mystery shopping and shed light on it and then the good parts of mystery shopping which is most of it like it can grow and blossom more if we get the, you know, the darkness out of the way. And one way to do that is just to tell people, you know, tell people you got an email. This is what it looks like so that other people know what to look for. But at the same time, we want to empower people to actually do real mystery shopping and not just be scared off by it. Um, so I think, I think that covers everything. You know, you just have to be careful. You have to be careful where you're shopping. You have to be careful who you sign up with, um, you know, use reputable lists. Again, I'll link my list in the comments. So if you need a place to start, you can uh, go right there and, you know, trust that my list is legitimate. Um, let me think. I'm going to look and see if there are any questions. Sometimes I have a hard time seeing questions. So I'm going to see if I can uh, see them on my Facebook page. Um, I have... Um, moved all of my videos, I think I said at the beginning, over to YouTube. So if you know someone who has wanted to get into mystery shopping, maybe they've been reluctant because of these scams. You know, these scam stories make it to the news all the time, which is so sad. Um, so, you know, send them this video and say, hey, like, yes, there are scams out there, but you can safely shop. You don't have to be suckered in by a scam. And, you know, like, let's tell people the truth about it. Um, I do not see any comments, but that doesn't mean that there are none there. 
Um, so if anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. But if you don't, that is fine. You can always put a question in the comment box later and I am more than happy to answer it. Um, I will be doing mystery shopping training on Mondays still uh, from 12.30 uh, Pacific and 3.30 uh, Eastern. And we have some other really exciting stuff coming on my website. So if you haven't gotten to my website, it's smartypantsfinance.com. I am still giving away the free hotel e book so it's for sale but I'm giving it away free so if you sign up for my email list you can get the, the book I will send it directly to you um, I also have some other mystery shopping resources I have the hotel mystery shopping group so if you are uh, if you're finding me through my Facebook page, but you're not part of the hotel mystery shopping group, go over to the, the group and join. I love hotel mystery shopping. I've literally traveled like from Africa to Asia to Europe several times in like 10 trips or so internationally. And it's all like in the last four years. So a lot of travel, but hotel mystery shopping has been the way I've been able to do it, which has been awesome. Um, so yeah, so join the group. And I think that is it. So again, if you have any questions, just put them in the comment box. If you have seen any scam emails or texts tell us about it like so i think it's really good to get everyone on the same page and know what it looks like so that people who want to mystery shop make money go have fun do fun things can avoid the bad stuff and stick with you know the legitimate parts of mystery shopping um so i think that is it and i hope everyone has a great day and i will see you next monday